we are going to do correlative conjunctions and relative pronouns in this topic. I am Kamaljit Singh, SS Master, Government Senior Secondary School, Singhpura. Let us revise what we have learned in the previous lecture. First is the meaning of conjunction. The conjunction is the part of speech used as a joiner or connector for words, phrases or clauses in a particular sentence. It links these words or group of words together in such a way that certain relationships among these different pair parts of the sentence will be established. Now if you look at the words which are marked yellow, you will find that it is a part of speech. It is also called connector. It links words or group of words together. Types of conjunctions. We have three types of conjunctions. One is coordinating conjunctions. Second is subordinating conjunctions. And the third is correlative conjunctions. Let us discuss the first one. Coordinating conjunctions. But, so, or, and. These are coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions join words, phrases, or independent clauses of a sentence together. They often link similar grammatical parts of a sentence together, like parts of speeches, phrases, and clauses. Let us do an exercise just to recapitulate what you have learnt. Choose the correct option. First sentence, he was tired dash he had been working for a long time. Options are and so because. Rohan, second sentence, Rohan is thin dash his brother is fat. Options are because, but, or. Third, he took out his brush, dash, begin to paint. Options are and, but, yet. Fourth, hurry up, dash, you will be late. Options are and, or, so. I hope you have marked the correct choices. Let us move to the answer part. He was tired, dash, he had been working for a long time. Answer is because. He was tired because he had been working for a long time. Second, Rohan is thin, but his brother is fat. So here, option B is correct. Take the third sentence. He took out his brush. Dash began to paint. He took out his brush and began to paint. Answer is A. And. Fourth. Hurry up or you will be late. Answer is option B. Or. Now, coming to the next part. Next conjunctions. They are called subordinating conjunctions. On the screen, you find some of these conjunctions mentioned here, like after, before, although, even though, because, as, if, as long as, provided that, till, until, unless, when, once, as soon as, while, whereas, in spite of, despite. Now let us understand how subordinate conjunctions work. Subordinate conjunctions join an independent clause which contains both a subject and a verb and can act as a complete sentence. And a dependent clause which also contains a subject and a verb 
but is not a complete sentence. So subordinating conjunction combines together an independent clause with a dependent clause. You can mark the words which are yellow in this join an independent clause with a dependent clause. Next, third type of conjunctions are correlative conjunctions. The correlative conjunctions are simply pairs of conjunctions which are used to join equal sentence elements together. List of common correlative conjunctions are either or, neither nor, not only, but also, both and, whether or, so as, and many more. So correlative conjunctions, they comes in pairs. Let us read about correlative conjunctions in detail. We have learned that correlative conjunctions are used in pairs. So the conjunctions which are used in pairs are known as correlative conjunctions. Now let, let us discuss some of them one by one. First is neither nor. This correlative conjunction is used when both things are not true or possible. Let me give you an example. Ramesh cannot see. Ramesh cannot hear. So the sentence by joining this correlative conjunction would be Ramesh can neither see nor hear. Take the second sentence. I cannot stand. I cannot sit. The sentence would be I can neither stand nor sit. Second correlative conjunction is either or. This is used to connect two possible choices. Let us take a sentence. You can play. You can work. The sentence would be you can either play or work. Take the second sentence. I can do either with a pen or a pencil. Third, not only but also. Used when both situations are to be equally emphasized. Let us take a sentence. The cruel lady dismissed her servant. She got him arrested. Now when we combine these two sentences, the sentence would be the cruel lady not only dismissed her servant, but also got him arrested. So we are emphasizing both. Second sentence, she is not only proud, but also mean. Fourth, lest should. This correlative conjunction is used when something is done to avoid the negative result. She is careful this time lest she should fail again. So why she is careful? Because she do not want to fail. She is careful this time lest she should fail again. So failing is a negative result. Take the second sentence, run fast lest you should miss the train. Fifth one, both and. This correlative conjunction is used to emphasize that each of the two things is true. Sita was absent 
her friend was absent. Now if we combine these two sentences, the sentence would be both Sita and her friend were absent. Take the another sentence. Rajan is kind. Rajan is honest. Rajan is both kind and honest. Sixth, such that. This correlative conjunction is used to give reason. I love such students that are industrious. So what type of students I love? Those students who are industrious. I love such students that are industrious. There was such thunderstorm that we could not go on the field trip. As, as. This correlative conjunction is used to compare things of similar proportion. Exercise and food both are necessary and we can make a sentence. Exercise is as necessary as food. Raman is as good as Sham. Eighth one, hardly when. This correlative conjunction is used when one thing happens very soon after another. She had hardly stepped out when she got the sad news. It means she stepped out and got the sad news. Take the another sentence. Hardly had I entered the room when the phone rang. So that this correlative injection, uh, conjunction is uh, used to indicate a theoretical versus real result. He is so foolish that you cannot expect any sensible talk from him. He is so weak that he cannot stand. So the real result is you cannot expect any sensible talk or he is not able to stand. Tenth correlative conjunction whether or. This is used to express a choice between two possibilities. I am going ahead with my plans whether I succeed or fail. So the two possibilities are success and failure. I don't care whether you attend the class or not. Eleventh, no sooner than. This pair of conjunction is uh, used to show one thing happening immediately after another. No sooner is the sky overcast, then the peacock begins to dance. So the two things are happening one after another in quick succession. No sooner did the thief see the police than he took to his heels. Rather than used to express two contrasting things or situations. I shall rather starve than steal. Starving and stealing, they are two contrasting things. Take the another sentence, he would rather die than beg. Same as same that. This pair of correlative conjunction is used when two things are happening in a way that is similar or exactly the same. Take an example. It is the same kind of pen as mine. This is the same man 
that came to my help. Fourteenth, if then, this pair of correlative conjunction is used when the second condition is dependent on the first. If it is a square, then it is a rectangle. If it is a square, then it is a rectangle. It means that a square also fulfills the conditions of a rectangle. If that is the case, then I am not surprised about what's happening. Fifteenth correlative conjunction, though yet. This pair of correlative conjunction is used to li uh, show, show link between two opposing situations or ideas. Though he is poor, yet he is respected. Though they were good friends, yet they quarreled often. So, there are two opposing situations in both the sentences. Let us do some exercises based on this. You have to fill the blanks. The first part of this pair is given and the second part you have to fill. We'll do exercises one by one. You have to keep noting the answers. Then we'll discuss it in the next slide. He is neither hardworking dash intelligent. I was so tired dash I at once fell asleep. Though he is poor dash he is honest. He is neither an idler dash a gambler. Though she worked hard dash she could not top the list. Let us see the answers of exercise 1. He is neither hardworking nor intelligent. I was so tired that I at once fell asleep. Though he is poor, yet he is honest. He is neither an idler nor a gambler. Though she worked hard, yet she could not top the list. Let's take another exercise. Here also, you have to fill the blanks. Either he dash she cooks dinner. Second, she cannot only dance dash sing. He is such a smart boy dash he passes his math exams successfully. He is not singing as loudly dash he can. I had hardly closed my eyes, dash she came. Let us move to the answers. Either he or she cooks dinner. She can not only dance, but also sing. He is such a smart boy that he passes his math exam successfully. He is not singing as loudly as he can. I hardly closed my eyes when she came. Moving to exercise number three. First sentence. She can have dash tea dash coffee. You have to fill the pair. Try using it. They need dash food but also medicine. We had no sooner gone to the bed, gone to bed dash. Five. I had hardly closed my eyes 
when she came. Exercise number three. Try to solve the blanks as I speak. Then we will check the answers. One. She can have dash tea, dash coffee. Two. They need dash food, but also medicine. Three. We had no sooner gone to bed, dash the phone rang. Four. Ram speaks dash quickly that nobody understands what he says. Five. Wear mask lest you dash get virus. Now see the answers of exercise number three. One. She can have either tea or coffee. Two. They need not only food but also medicine. Three. We had no sooner gone to bed than the phone rang. Four. Ram speaks so quickly that nobody understands what he says. Five. Wear mask lest you should get virus. Coming to exercise number four. Here again you will try to solve it. One. Not only Sham dash Ram is from Mohali. Two. She played both hockey dash basketball. Three. Work hard dash you should fail. Four. Not only he is a linguist dash a pianist. Five. It's such a great movie dash I have watched it several times. Answers of exercise number four. Not only Sham but also Ram is from Mahali. Two. She played both hockey and basketball. Three. Work hard lest you should fail. Four. Not only is he a linguist but also a pianist. Five. It's such a great movie that I have watched it several times. Coming to exercise number five. First, Dash Ram does not receive the call. Dash reminds remind him. Two, I drink coffee rather dash tea. Three, Seema does not know dash Rita will come or not. Four, she would dash study then sleep. Five, hardly had I arrived home dash my phone rang. Now check the answers please. One, if Ram does not receive the call then remind him. Two, I drink coffee rather than tea. Three, Seema does not know whether Rita will come or not. Four, she would rather study than sleep. Five, hardly had I arrived home when my phone rang. Exercise. <coughs> Combine the given sentences using though and yet. My dog was hungry. It did not eat biscuits. He is very sleepy. He is watching a movie. Bubbly wants to wear new clothes on Diwali. Bubbly did not buy them. It was raining. I did not take an umbrella. He did not study hard. He passed the test. I was lost. I did not ask for directions. My room was dirty. I did not clean the room. I was ill. I did not go to the doctor. Mohan and Sohan were friends. Mohan did not help Sohan. I went to the market. I did not buy anything. Now, combine the given sentences using though and yet. This is the solved answer sheet. 
though my dog was hungry yet it did not eat biscuits though he is very sleepy yet he is watching a movie the bubbly wanted to wear new clothes on diwali yet she did not buy them though it was raining yet i did not take an umbrella fifth though he did not study hard yet he passed the test six though i was lost yet i did not ask for directions seven though my room was dirty yet i did not clean the room eight though i was ill yet i did not go to the doctor nine though mohan and sohan were friends yet mohan did not help sohan 10th though we went to the market yet i did not buy anything now coming to relative pronouns as connectors relative pronouns are different from conjunctions relative pronouns are important connecting devices they not only connect two clauses but also act as subject or object of the verb in the relative clause this is the main difference between conjunctions and relative pronouns conjunctions merely connect two clauses they do not serve any other purpose use of relative pronouns as conjunctions the farmer is very sad his crops were damaged the farmer whose crops were damaged is very sad here whose is working as subject to the verb god help those people they help themselves god help those who help themselves in this combined sentence who is acting as an object <coughs> of the verb see the third sentence listen to this your teacher say something listen to what your teacher says in this sentence what is working as an object to the verb <coughs> 